Look at this. Look where I'm starting out at. This is the creek. I think this is the unnamed brook that runs through here. I'll show you the other side. I'm gonna get a cast out in here. But yeah, it feels great to be back with a rod and reel in hand. And I took a total mental break for the past month, no filming, but I've been just getting out here, getting more in my zone. So the adventures have been continuing, but I just haven't been filming anything. So I'm excited to bring this new content to you guys and pretty much just let it speak for itself. Expect every other day videos from this point on, so just know that I'm out there every single day getting in my element and freaking sending it. Hope you enjoy it. The, the rage crawl with the net head. That's on starting out fishing. And I see some action down here. I don't know what the heck it is. I'm not sure what's in this brook. There's, there's gotta be a good amount of fish though. And this is pretty far back here to the point that I don't think a lot of other people are necessarily fishing it. God, I've got him fish on. Oh my God, that was a large mouth. That was the first large mouth bass of the day. That was, that was kind of sick. Not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting a bite. <laughs> This is a creek kind of exploring that I love doing. And I don't know, I was ready to move on from the spot just because I was almost feeling like the next part of the adventure is lying ahead, but there's something to be said for just kind of sticking out sometimes. Because there are a lot of fish in here. What the? Oh, caught a stick. That's a stick fish. Stay on there, stay on there. Oh my God, we, we might land him. Woo, in the boat. Let's go, baby. Look at this thing. First stick fish of the day. Got to get him back on his way right away. Back into the water, catch and release. Let's go. Got him, got him, fish on. That's a nice one. Nice largemouth bass. Oh my God, this is so sick. <laughs> on the rage crawl, I didn't think I'd be catching. Oh my God. My phone just fell in the water. I gotta go get that. Well, anyway, we got this largemouth bass on. I'm just gonna release them a little bit further downstream, I guess. I was kind of getting hyped up that I got a bite. Hey, that's a that's a decent fish to start the day off. I think that's the same one that I lost. Little largemouth bass on the rage crawl. Something special for this spot that I've never fished before. Just catching a fish is all you need sometimes. Let's go over here and get my phone because my phone fell in the creek. I saw my phone, it's on the bottom, but my tripod is now floating. All right. So it's looking like the tripod's on the other side of the creek. My phone, yep, it's, it's right there. My, is that my phone? All right, I'll try to hook it with the rage claw. Can the rage claw catch the tripod? Oh yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh yeah. That's the third catch of the day for the rage claw. Caught a bass, a stick fish, and a tripod. Oh my goodness. That was a little more hectic than I thought the day was gonna start out being. My phone's still in the water. I gotta get that. Oh boy. This is a moment of truth. Can I get my phone out of the water? Isn't it right here? Oh. Sheesh. Little regroup. Got my phone back, got the tripod back, landed a fish, landed a stick. We're on the right track. I'm gonna keep on moving now, this spot. We're gonna let it settle down for a minute, but it's good to know there are fish in here. Always cool to catch a fish at a spot you've never fished before. All right, coming up on the next spot. The next spot's looking epic. It's like a swampy, muddy creek, but has a lot of cool aspects to it. Like a lot of mystery in here because it's small water, but nobody's fishing this. So there could literally be anything in here. And that's kind of just what fishing is. You're unearthing the beauty of what's out here and you can find things that you wouldn't think you could find otherwise. And it's just, it's a lifestyle. Got him, got him, fish on. There we go. That's the second large mouth of the day. <sighs> that's sick. Like these aren't big fish, but these are really epic catches. This, this is literally fishing at its finest, at its essence. Get him back, get some more. This crawdad. Thank God I found it. Like I was telling you guys, I was thinking about this lure in my head and I haven't fished one for two years. I didn't even know I had one in my tackle box and <laughs> it's just, it's doing work right now, which is epic. It's probably gonna be another fish under here. Under this cover straight ahead, there's gotta be. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna get torn up by mosquitoes today. That's something you can't feel from the GoPro footage. That's why you gotta get out here for yourself and feel the bite of the skeeters. This is just so sick. Epic back here. Sometimes going off the trail brings you even more to the trail that you're looking for, if that makes sense. You don't have to be on the beaten path. I have no clue where I am right now. Oh, it's getting dense. Look, I found the trail. I found the trail. Oh! That was totally worth it. This led me right back to the legit trail. But I'm pretty sure I just knocked off like a good loop. Because I just trekked it through God's country back here. Thing is, I don't even know what I'm looking for out here. It's really that I'm looking for... Honestly, most of these trips, I'm just looking for myself. I'm looking for where I fit into this environment. What I can take away from it. What I can give back. And it's literally just that. Like, you go out here one day, and you're not after the biggest fish in the world. You're not after anything other than just enjoying this. You're not even worried about catching fish. I guarantee you might just have the best fishing trip of your life. <laughs> Brace yourself because we're at the next spot just like that. Another bridge over the creek. More epic looking water. Oh my gosh, the creek got so much bigger. I think I'm getting into better fishing territory. Wow, look at how the creek opened up. I'm kind of stoked to see what I can catch here. Got him, got him, there we go. Oh, bigger large mouth. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm freaking talking about. On the ultralight, look at the colors on this thing. Oh my God. Wait up, wait up, wait up. This might be a dink. This fish has a body of like a 13 pounder. Whew. Look at that thing. Look at that. Body of a 13 pounder. I'm just gonna give him a light toss down. There he goes. Nicer bass, biggest bass of the day. Also fishing the biggest water of the day. And I think I'm getting at something pretty good today. It's already one of my favorite trips recently. And what, I've caught three dinks, three dinky bass on the old shore. Got him. Oh. Got him. Oh my God. Nice one. Nice bass. Go. Ha, ah, that was sick. So sick. Ah, oh, look at this. <laughs> that was sick. There he goes. I'm gonna keep moving downstream. The journey is the destination. That's one of my favorite quotes because it's, it's time and time again so true. If you have a destination in mind and you forget about the journey, you will never enjoy the steps along the way. And even once you get to the destination, you won't enjoy the destination. But once you learn to enjoy the journey, the destination will just be a part of it and you'll enjoy, and you'll enjoy the entire process. You step foot out here and you have no idea what's gonna happen from start to finish. And that's one of the scariest yet most inspiring parts of getting out in nature and doing anything for that matter. Once you start anything, you don't know the outcome. You have to take risks. You have to be willing to roll with just not knowing. And that's, that's been something I've struggled with, but something I always learn and I learn it through this. Oh my gosh, I've lost the water for a long time. I don't know where it is. I found some tiny ponds every now and then. I'll show you kind of the layout of this land. It's pretty cool. The trail is Obviously on a little bit higher land than the river, it's pretty rooty, not too swampy, but then we got little frog ponds like this. They're cool looking. No fish in these, a lot of frogs. 
fish ahead somewhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what did I just find? Guys, I just stumbled on something crazy. Let me know what this thing is. I'm gonna let him be, but that is ridiculously cool to find this out here on the adventure. Yeah.